one two three microphone check one two three microphone check one two three microphone check Okay, sound works. We can start. Three, two, one. Hello, guys, and welcome to my channel Cancellieri. Today I'm going to review iOS 26 Beta 3 Developer Edition. But at the beginning of this conversation, let me remind you guys what you have a great opportunity to ask me any questions directly. To do that, you just need to open my YouTube channel. Click here to get access to all available links and just click on the first link. It will open a new page with Google Form where you can write your questions and send them to me. From my side, I'm going to review all your questions and try to answer them in the next video. By the way, I opened my own Telegram channel, so guys, you're welcome, please join. And let's start. A few days ago, I successfully installed iOS 26 beta 3 to my iPad with 32 gigabytes of the memory and let me adjust the camera. All right, uh, let's keep this one step and let's make a small review for this new operating system. Step number one, let's check how many space it takes. Let's go to about iPad 8th generation, right? 32 gigabytes is capacity and available only 16th gigabytes, not too much. If we go to iPad storage, we can see what operating system takes about 12 gigabytes and system data is about 3.5 gigabytes. One moment. Okay, let's review what we have. Settings tab. Probably it's not changed too much. Maybe some improvements, but I don't see a big difference. Well, let's enable dark team. Oh. It looks better when light team. Let me switch back. All right, it's interesting. Plus, let's enable the main functionality in this release. It's multitasking. And let's use window with apps. Because of Okay. Oh, we also changed the design of toggles. All right, let's try to use this multitasking. We have Safari browser, as you can see, these angles are rounded, and we can change the size of the window. Right, let's open YouTube channel. Okay, let's go to YouTube channel and voila, you can see the screen of the Safari browser, plus we have three dots as for Macbook and if we press on them we can see what we can hide the window, we can change the size, oh, if we put finger down no let me repeat this section again okay. 
you can see a small tab at the top of the screen and you can see safari file edit view history bookmarks window whoa it's interesting oh nice now we have the same abilities as for desktop browser looks interesting history window help Manage profiles. Okay, and sorry, I pressed a lot of buttons, but I am shocked a little bit. Okay, let's now run photo application. Okay, it also has some changes uh, do not allow we have library for month all photos okay what will happen okay we have the same tab here new album new folder image okay awesome okay we can change the size of application on the screen if we press yellow button too long we have ability to optimize the size for instance to show it bottom all right and if we press it here we can put it on the top it's not aligned but actually it's not bad okay let's change size here and size here what else we have here yeah, we have the same stuff let's check command center hmm. i would not say what i like this new design more than previous one but it's not bad and what i did okay site manager a show okay why i do not have The second one application okay settings okay it's interesting we can play with it later what else we can do focus time sound all right Okay. What else has changed it? Let's run files. Here we should have opportunity to connect any external drive. I have no idea how to show it because this iPad is already connected to my laptop. Okay, we'll check it later. What about previous applications? Okay. Let's close it. What else we have? Oh, we change the design for watch. I mean clock icon. Now it has another user interface. Weather, phone. Let's run phone. Now we have the same functionality as for iPhone to make calls. Also, you can see a small UI issue. What share your name and photo is placed in the same corner as recents. All right. 
let's keep it for future translate shortcuts with memos photo booth or oh, journal i've heard it's a new application let's take a look all right and what we can do edit health access what the hell okay hello today uh, as you can see we have strange behavior for save button okay today i'm going to make a video about iPad OS 26 and what else we can do Can I place any photo? Journal, a bookmark, suggest choose photo or video. Let's choose this one photo, place it. It's interesting. Technically, we can use uh, Google Documents to make some kind of journal to keep images and text, but it's also is not bad suggestions take a photo locations okay if we put finger down a little bit we can see file new journal edit format view so now we can see a huge step from device which we usually use to watch YouTube videos and playing some games but now it's moving to the way as MacBooks do we really need it I'm not sure honestly but it's not bad because right now iPad Air for instance new model costs very similar to MacBook Air of previous generation and I would spend a little bit more money, but I would get a MacBook Air instead of iPad. But now, now these changes make me think twice. Level health access, with lead, you log your state, continue of mind, something crazy. Okay, okay. What else we have here? Let's take a look. Feedback, tips, journal, freeform. Let's see, maybe we have some changes in freeform. We use the same icon for health access. Uh, Probably here I do not see any new changes. Journal, health, calculator. Well, wait a minute. I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. Okay, now what? Calculator has the same design, almost the same design as previous one. I mean, this is iPad on iOS 18.5 and technically it has the same style. If we press here, 
basic scientific okay maybe it has some small changes but i wouldn't say it's new application itunes store photo booth preview does it mean what we can edit any new pdf files probably yes let's press here new empty page and let me share it okay let me file recent export print okay probably preview is the same application as we have on macbooks to work with pdf files and photos uh, find my iPhone home probably here other stuff is the same let me check some functionalities here is the same if we move okay well before it was blue red right now it has glass effect interesting command center previous version I prefer more what else we have let's check clock application no changes here alarms stopwatch timers okay probably no changes here okay we changed icon for photos it has class effect too but no difference to me okay what else podcast translate and we changed icon for games before it was called app store right now no app store hey we created a new icon for games only let's press continue mm. Okay, probably here we collect just only games. All right, but that's probably it. 20 gigabytes of the memory. This is the space what is required for update. What do you think guys about new iPad OS 26? Share your thoughts in the comments. I wish you to have a good week and see you guys later. Bye.